and if I get closer to that, there you go, portal effect. Hey guys, this is uh, TK8 in Roblox Studio. You know in portals and things where you see like another land through, let's just say that brick there, let's say that if that was a portal you see another land through it. I'm developing a way of actually doing that. If I actually enable this effect, it should hide things behind the, the part. And if I flip it, we should see these particles here disappear, but we should see it through the portal, like so. And if I get closer to that, there you go, portal effect. <laughs> it's a very, very simple idea. It's just uh, using one simple little script just to talk to every single particle, doing a raycast from the particle to the camera to work out if it's behind something. So that's basically what I've done there. So the code, as I say, is, uh, is actually doing, it's actually using three rays. One in the center of the particle, then we got the left and right side because it's only going from the left to the right. Of course, if it's moving all directions, you'll have a box sort of thing for the ray cast points. So I'm casting rays from each of the particles to the camera, as I said, to work out uh, if it's behind, let's just say these blocks here. If I went right way around, they disappear. Depends on the mode. Let's enable it. There you go. So we can see them. As soon as we go behind these blocks, they kind of disappear. It's a bit buggy, as you can see. I think it's because they just first load in. They don't realise they're behind something. But the rest of it is working fine. There you go. Look at that. Another land. Woo ha ha. <laughs> yeah, so I thought I'd let, let you guys know that I'm still doing Roblox. It's just uh, I'm trying to figure out what to do next kind of thing. <laughs> when I'm uh, when I got the time to so as I said they are using three rays per particle I'm generating the particle by this uh, using a uh, what do you call it an inline uh, generation if you like on the actual script creating it dynamically that's what I was trying to think of calling that as it's as the script runs but at the moment this reference particle is its parent is nothing it's just in memory if you like then later on when it comes down to this particle uh, table I'm actually calling a table a function within the table to create the particles for the the game so as it loads it creates all the particles figured out a way of doing that so as it's loading the part the uh, table called particles it's loading this function here and then it's filling up that table with the particles so it's a bit weird way of doing it but it's a very very neat way of doing it i've just figured out a way of doing it and then i can just call something like particles i don't know what that is but something draw for all the particles in the list in the table and that's it <laughs> and then to get the uh, the mose effects all I'm doing is just messing around with the transparency of each of the particles that's it what I was thinking of maybe making this into is let's just say we got uh, let's just show you that it's nothing to do with these bricks here if I move these around 
move that over there. Let's actually create another one on the fly. So you can see that it's nothing to do with these brakes, it's to do with the, uh, the actual effect. 0.9, uh, let's say 0.7. Yeah, so we could have like a little viewing window, if you like, of a hidden land or something where you, I don't know, some kind of role playing game where you don't actually see these particles without the tool and you need to uh, get the tool to be able to see these particles to progress or something that's what I was thinking I was just thinking about how to do that in Roblox and this is possibly one way of doing it but the only problem with this is when you have more than one player playing at the same time or in the same place they would hide for that player as well so we probably have uh, glitches like uh, we probably see things sort of flashing because it's trying to work out who's uh, looking at what. Let's just say if a player is behind one of these and another player is be, uh, sort of like this, it's uh, it might uh, misbehave. So in other words, it might even just be look, looking like that. So I've got to work out how to do per player hiding. <laughs> That's easier said than done anyway a little quick one tonight I thought I'd let you guys uh, know that I'm still doing Roblox as I said before and I'll catch you guys later oh before I go I'll tell you what I'm going to put this little example online so you guys can develop it further if you like so if I remember there should be a link down in the description down below so you can have a play around with this and do whatever you like. Anyway, this has been Together in Velvet Studio, and I'll catch you guys later. Together, signing out.